Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDectic. Today I will show you how to use push notifications with the Ionic I.O. service. So let's start with a blank app. If you have not created account here, you can just go to it and create one for free and you will need this to continue in this tutorial because we will upload our app through this service to use the push notification. Okay, it starts with Ionic upload and if you're not logged in by now this will ask for your mail and password and once this is done we should see our app appearing right here. And why do we need this? Because this will give us an app ID and also, yeah, you can see it here, let's refresh, yes there it is. This will give us an app ID and also an API key which we will need later. Okay, first of all, we need to install quite a lot of plugins, so I'm a bit lazy, I will just copy paste them. You can find the list of what you need on my blog post, or if you're fast, you can also take a look at this one or stop the video. Okay, ng Cordova, we need the Ionic Service Core and the service push and finally this one this is not documented but they wrote it would be included but it wasn't so yes you will need this one as well okay open your text editor whatever you're using and go to the index file and append all those scripts we have just installed right after ionic bundle js and also go to your app.js and the angular module array and we need some more we need ng cordova and we need ionic service core and also ionic service push okay perfect that should be enough for this let's get started with the config we need this config to identify our app with the ionic io service and we need the Ionic app provider and again the Ionic app provider here and now we need to identify our app and inside we need an app ID which we will set very soon and we need the API key which we will also insert soon and finally we set the dev push flag to true because we are only using development push notifications in this tutorial this will speed up the process and we don't have to struggle with Apple or Android certificates and keys and all those things okay I already said no we don't use this anymore that you can find the app ID here so copy paste your app ID and also go to your app go to your settings and oh this doesn't look very good and find your public key and insert it to the API key this key will be used for push notifications later on we will also need the secret key later but we will come to this later okay 
No, okay. Um, it's not working, right? Okay, fine. First of all, inside your index, we will need two buttons. And also, we obviously need a controller, which will be the push controller. As I said, we need two buttons, some styling, no, that's dark, and on click we want to identify our user. We need to identify our user first because, well, we need some random generated unique ID to register his device and so we need to call identify a user before we do anything else. Once we've identified our user we can register for push but this one will only be available if the user is identified and this will call our push register or what do we name it yeah push register okay so in the beginning we will only see this button and once we've identified we will see this button as well this is the only thing we need for our view right now. I already assigned the controller, so let's create it. As I said, the push controller. And we need some dependencies. We need the scope, we need the root scope, we need ionic user, and finally ionic push. Okay. As I said, the first function will be to identify our user. So, first of all, we will get a user object. And if the user has no user ID right now, we will set the user ID just to a random ID. Okay, that's enough. Also, you can set some metadata for our user. I think this is not mandatory, but I just want to include it so you know how to do it. And I'm the author of the tactic. Okay. Let's do the real work. We need to call ionic user again and identify with our user object. And if this is successful, we set scope identified equals true. So our second button will be displayed and we can also log well, whatever name should be user.name and the ID should be user.user ID. Okay, so this is our first button. We can already serve it. And we got our button 
and let's make it a bit bigger and as you can see my name and ID and the button for the push appears let's go on the second function is the push register so at this point we want to register for push notifications and this is also really easy and straightforward we just need to call the ionic push service and call register and inside we can set some parameters like can show alert and many more so I will include them here just so you know what you can do but as we are only using development notifications we won't see a badge or have a sound right now okay as you can see there are many more and maybe the most important one on notification well at this point you can do whatever you like but make sure to return true right now to display it and so here you can handle your stuff with the end notification okay that's everything we need to display the notification there's one last thing we need to change right now because once we've registered for push notifications we want to catch the registered event callback and for this we will use the road scope and catch the okay no typo please Cordova push token received and this will call function and to make sure everything works we will alert it and we will also print this out you will see why we will need this token later on we can say data.token and there's also a platform included but as we are running it in the browser we won't get iOS or Android back and if you want to you can set a token but we won't use this any further right now so this is everything we need right now okay let's run it again hopefully it's still working no obviously not uh, okay mm. Okay, where's the error? Ah, okay. Yes, now it's working again. Let's try it out. It's cleared. We identify our user and we register for a push notification and the page says success and we get a token back. Okay. Now, how do we send them out? open a new tab or whatever and go to your directory well okay you don't have to go to it but you need to call ionic push dash s so this will try to send a push notification to our app and it asks for a private API key at this point don't may use this one but use the secret one and now it asks for the device token which is this token we got in the callback 
So this is why we have to listen to it. Notification alert message. Hooray! My first didactic notification. Batch. Well, we won't see a batch here. And we will also don't hear a sound. So just send it. Let's wait for it. And every five seconds our page checks for updates and here's our notification. And you might be very surprised how fast this was if you know how to include native notifications. And yes, it's really that simple. The problem only occurs now when we want to use production notifications with iOS and the Apple push notification service or Android. But right now everything is working and I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you wish to see how to perform this for iOS and Android on the real device, just leave me a comment and make sure to follow my channel. Thanks for listening.